All right. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I had this idea that I was going to start a YouTube channel and just start doing whatever came to mind. So today is the first day of the first off the wall video. I'm going to make a little blow gun or a pea shooter sort of gun out of an old arrow shaft. Something I had laying around. Figure, why not make something out of it? Might be pretty cool. We do a little target practice. So I went ahead and grabbed some toothpicks. Some toothpicks there. Pointy on one end and dull on the other. Worked perfect. Uh, found some split shot sinkers. Those ought to work pretty good. Some paper. I'm going to use this paper just to uh, make the little cone at the end. And I think that's all we need. I think we can do it. Are you ready? Let's do it. So, first we're going to have to take. Probably have to zoom me down. Still has a tip on it, and I'm sure the tip goes back in here, ways. So we'll cut her off back here. Get this little block of wood, little rubber thing. Help it from slipping around. fighting some turkeys turkeys that would feel like alright one more time with the other end Sharp on that end, dull on that. If we just take a piece of paper, cut the triangle out of it, then make make like a cone. See this cone? Like a bugle, like a corn bugle. You know them corn bugles? Bugle corn chips? That's what it looks like. I don't have my hot glue gun plugged in. We might want to plug that in. We can use tape until that warms up. Got some tape here. I'm just 
go ahead cut the piece of tape. Make our bugle corn chip again. Leave it like that. Now that we got kind of like a cone shape, what we want to do is drop that into there and we can see where it stops. Where that stops is where you're going to want to cut it. It goes all the way in the cone. Like that. Now you get a little dark. You see that? Looks pretty good. It's a good little dark. Let's see if it fits in the end here. Ooh, it's pretty tight. I'm going to trim it a little bit more because I don't want to I don't want to get stuck get stuck we have to blow wicked hard we can't we can't do that there we go uh oh it's in there now okay rescued that's a good dart I see my hot blue gun's warmed up. I'm gonna try to add a little bead of hot glue to it. paper and some hot glue. Let's see if it works. Set up a slide my chair back. Prop this up here a little bit. Let's try one of these BBs. Do some of these lead sinkers. 
Well, they're not lead. I guess they're they're tin now. See which one fits. See if we can get one. Put one of these little sinkers here. Put it in the end. Look at that. That worked too. Put this blowgun back in. We're going to aim at the hole that the sinker just made. Let's see how accurate it is. Look at that. I hit that hole perfect. That's pretty good. I'm going to have to pick it up. Move it. Let me through with it. And I'm, I'm just across the room. But it's a good six feet away. Pretty good. I wonder how far we can push it. Try to hit that same hole again. What do you think? That little black spot up there. Pretty accurate, huh? For a toothpick. Not a bad little weapon. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to make some more of these little darts. And cut a few of these arrow shafts. Play around with it a little more, see what I can get. I got a couple different sizes here. There's some big ones and small ones, and I have some bigger and smaller arrow shafts. We'll see which ones fly good. It's pretty accurate. Not bad. That's a fun time. If you like this video, like it, share it, appreciate it. Who knows? You can have a lot of fun with some toothpicks and paper. A couple of arrow shafts. Hacksaw. I could have used a Dremel, but I like to get back to Earth. But fun you can have with toothpicks, tape, whatever comes to mind. Next video, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I got a TV I'm gonna tear apart. I'd like to find out what's inside. If you got any ideas for videos, let me know. I appreciate it. This is Willie from Testaholics. We're here to test all kinds of tests. We're just here for the test, so keep them coming. Keep the likes, shares. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.